Egyptians, Christians, Jews, and martial artists have this in common, that we are supposed to prepare our entire lives for the afterlife. Consider these ideas. Defining and redefining versus defending the original and the traditional definition in humanity in a manner that consists of the spirit, mind, body, and soul. The scientific scribe that's a poet versus Egyptian and Jewish martial arts. The theater and playing ball with gender-neutral Greek actors versus royalty. Greek compilations, acts, versus actions and loyalty. A written tradition in the history of, uh, in the tradition of Greek playwrights and tragedies versus the oral presentation of someone in the spirit. The Bible is like Star Wars. The truth is there, however, in a Greco-Roman drama with Nordic and fake Jew elements. And you must consider who spiritually embodies the spirit of the Jews, David and Jesus the most. Consider the Latin mass, the Greek translation, the sun's mass and how it relates to the earth, the planet's mass, planet based on the mass, the lion being more massive than the leopard, the lion in the rock and stone and in desert areas, open areas, versus the leopard in the jungle. The scorpion king, his mass, the sorcerer that becomes his ally, right? Sorcery is against morality in the Bible and Egyptian martial arts. When you dig in deeply and you see that the original uh, unifiers of Egypt were martial artists and not sorcerers. The scorpion king is said to be related to the scorpion's kiss of death. Judas and his kiss of death. You have been betrayed, Matthias, math I as the red eye of uh, evil, the math, 666, Pythagoras, the Python, the Anaconda, Apep, etc. Okay, now let's delve into this thing, shall we? When you look at Cush and Shem, Moses versus Solomon in his madness, lust, and greed, cause and she, well, why? It's the wordplay, C-A-S, cause, and Shem, the M is the ark, the rainbow in uh, Genesis, I believe it was, uh, after Noah's flood, is around that time where God says the rainbow will remind me of our covenant. So the M will remind you of the covenant that is not always there. So sometimes you can remove the M, sometimes you can put it there, similar to a rainbow. So cause and she, as you do the go spell, the good spell, and make a vow to God, the sun, and not to the stars that pale in comparison. So cause and she, warrior and natural admiration and submission. The suns must submit to the stars. Excuse me, the stars must submit to the sun. Okay, do not listen to their bullshit contradictions and attempts to confound the true spirit of God. Jerusalem is a woman waiting for God's son and its masculinity to complete her and not for her to go sleeping around with the Hittites and the Assyrians and people draped in the idolatrous uh, apparel of traitors and heathens. Revelation is 22, 40, 14 through 21. Make this clear. Blessed are those who wash their robes, that they may have the right to the tree of life and may go through the gates into the city. Outside are the dogs. You know, the Canaanites, pagans, for example, were dogs, as well as to the Egyptians compared to the divine light temple and order. Those who practice magic arts, all sorcerers, the sexually immoral, the murderers, the idolaters, and everyone who loves and practices falsehood. If you are a repentant sinner, you are not considered sexually immoral because of Jesus and the covenant that I will destroy because in my honest, divinely inspired perception, I don't see anyone loyal. Who is standing with me? If you are of God, why didn't he not lead you to me? 
I am his representative on earth. Where are those who submit to the divine order? And what can you say against me? If I am not God's representative, make your case in the light. 16. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to give you this testimony for the churches. Who works the angles as I do? As a light temple martial artist with leopard spots. Because no one is good but God alone. Mark 10, 18. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright morning star. The offspring. He is in the offspring. He is the offspring of David. Natural attraction, the son. Ra means son. And the offspring of David, the root is the divine spirit directing the vine in son generation or Ra generation. Raw and not regeneration, and Jesus is the spirit of the well. To share mind, body, and soul with the ray is not the ultimate way. You must spiritually reproduce with the offspring of David, and you know them by their spiritual works and not science. David was a spiritual precision warrior, light temple artist of Judah, that God had specifically forbidden to build a temple. Yet 